Welcome to Amazing Facts for Kids. Please subscribe to my channel to discover and learn interesting facts. Hello my little friends. Today we'll take you to the world of microorganisms. Microorganisms are the largest number of living organisms on earth. They are so tiny that we need a microscope to see them. They are also called microbes. So, let's start. Microbes are the simplest form of life that are mostly single-celled. Few varieties are multicellular also. Cells are the building blocks of life and all living things are made up of cells. Microbes are all over us and everything else. They are in soil, water, air, they are everywhere. Many people think that microbes are dangerous. They are, but not all. We can't live without microorganisms. They are important for life on earth. They recycle organic matter synthesized by plants. They play important roles in maintaining the ecosystem of earth. Microbes are diverse group of life forms that can be majorly divided into six types. They are bacteria, archaea, fungi, protozoa, algae and virus. Bacteria are single-celled organisms. They are mostly found in four shapes, rod, spiral, curved and spherical. They are most abundant organisms on earth. Earlier, it was thought that there are 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells in a human body. But a recent study has shown that this ratio is more likely to be 1 is to 1. There are many useful bacteria like lactobacillus that converts milk into curd. But there are some nasty ones that can give us a sore throat or tummy ache. Archaea or archaebacteria are single-celled organisms that were discovered in extreme environments. They are mostly found in extreme environmental conditions like very high or very low temperatures, in salty, acidic or alkaline water, etc. Fungi are found everywhere, on land, in water, in the air, in plants and animals as well. They are of different sizes that vary from single-celled yeast that is used to make bread to multicellular mold and mushroom. That means all fungi are not microscopic. Fungi play important role in decomposition of organic matter. Some of them are used to make antibiotics like penicillin and cephalosporin that are used to kill bacteria that cause infections or diseases in humans. Some fungi are harmful that cause diseases in humans like athlete's foot, ringworm, etc. Protozoa are single-celled organisms that are found almost everywhere. They are the largest group of organisms in the world in terms of diversity, biomass and numbers. Some protozoa live individually, while others live in large groups or colonies like plankton. Whereas many are parasites, that means they live on and feed off of plants and animals including humans. These organisms can cause many diseases, but some are helpful too. Paramecium and amoeba are common examples of protozoa. Algae are aquatic organisms that can be single-celled or multicellular. They are usually photosynthetic. They can be free-floating or attached to the bottom in the water. Some algae grow on rocks, soil or vegetation if there is enough moisture. Viruses are non-cellular agents. They are so tiny that they can only be seen with powerful microscopes. Although we call them microorganisms, they are considered non-living. They are not classified as living things as they survive only inside the cells of other living beings. They are the most abundant entity in aquatic environment. They can infect all types of life forms. Some of the common human diseases caused by viruses are common cold, chickenpox, influenza, etc. So kids, there are so many different types of microorganisms that we still don't really know how many are there. But we do know that there are good ones and bad ones both. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel to discover and learn interesting facts. Bye-bye.